Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a castle. It was another request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 26cm wide by 19cm or 10 and a quarter inches wide by 7 and a half inches. This medium castle crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 15cm wide by 13cm or 5 and 3 quarter inches wide by 5 inches. This small castle crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 12.5cm wide by 9cm or 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 3.5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be a bit smaller than the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 115 hot red, 074 mercury, 254 moon rock, 242 metal grey and 110 black. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 2.5mm crochet hook and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and the black is to work markings on the door. Now we're going to start in this middle bottom section here where the door is. Now I've got my 074, the Mercury, and we start with 12 chain. For row 1, we miss 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 10 stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble, using UK terms. For a half double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook, hook in to the stitch, so the third chain from the hook, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So we need one half double crochet in each of the last nine chain. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet in each of the 10 stitches. Now rows 3 to 7 are work the same as row 2. We start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet in each of the 10 stitches. So I'll work those rows off camera. There's 5 rows 
Now that's the middle bottom section except for the neatening row done. We don't turn before the neatening row and we start with one chain. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch on the straight edges and two single crochet in each corner stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put the hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and then work one single crochet in each stitch down the side. Just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to work your single crochet. Just one in each stitch. And then when you come to the first stitch along the top, the back of the chain, work one single crochet for the side and then one single crochet for your first stitch along the top. And then work one single crochet in the back of the chain along the bottom. Work two single crochet in the last chain along the bottom and then work a single crochet, the single crochets evenly along that side. and then work two single crochet in the first stitch along the top and then one single crochet in each remaining stitch along the top Now I've already worked one single crochet in that first stitch so I slip stitch in my first stitch I worked. So I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and fasten off. And that's the middle bottom section. Now I'll weave in that end and then I'll be back with my metal grey and we'll just work an edge around it. Now for the edge I like to work it into the back loop only. This is our front loop here and that's our back loop. So you can join in any stitch in the back loop only if you prefer but you could join in both loops if you'd rather work through both loops. We start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch 
as our chain and then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch on the straight edges and two single crochet in each corner stitch. So it's really just the same as our neatening row. But I'm working into the back loop only. When you work into the back loop only, you've just got this little edging around it. The front loop just shows up around it. I'm working over the tail just to, so I don't have quite as much weaving in of ends. And then work two single crochet in the corner stitch and one single crochet in each stitch down the side and just work one single crochet in each stitch on the straight edges and two single crochet in each corner stitch. So I'll work to the end of the row off camera. Now I'm back to the beginning of the row. I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now next we've got a row of black across the top. Now it's worked into 13 stitches so just make sure you've got your 13 stitches evenly. So I'll join in this stitch. I'll join through both loops for this row. We start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join and then one single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches across. Now that's the 13 stitches, so I fasten that off. Now I'll weave in my ends and I'll be back with the mercury and we'll work this top middle section. Now we're going to be working this top middle section. Now it's worked into the back loop only of the black stitch and then we'll be working these battlements into the front loop only. So it's important that this is worked into the back loop only. So we join our 074, the Mercury, in the back loop only of our third black stitch. So just up in here. and work two chain, 
work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our join and then one half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next eight stitches Row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each of the 9 stitches. Now rows 3 to 6 will work the same as row 2. We work 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet in each of the 9 stitches. So that's 4 rows. I'll work those 4 rows off camera. Now that's the first 6 rows. For row 7 we're going to curve our roof. So we'll be using different stitches. We start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then we're going to work two double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We need one more double crochet into that stitch. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. So we've just got a curved edge. Then we fasten off. And that's what it looks like so far. Now we're going to do a neatening row around this top section and then we'll work an edge. So we join just where we joined for this section. And you can work one chain quite tightly if you like. And then we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So you put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So work a slip stitch in each stitch up the side. The slip stitch just gives it a narrower edge than the single crochet. I like to slip stitch into the first stitch, work one chain really tightly and then work a slip stitch in each stitch along the top. I'm just working into the back loop only 
but you could work into the front loop, both loops if you'd prefer. And I'll do the same at this corner. Slip stitch into the last stitch, one chain tightly, and then work a slip stitch in each stitch down the side. The, the chain just stops it from having a rounded edge. And once we get to the bottom, we slip stitch in the same stitch as our last stitch from row one and fasten off. And that's the neatening row done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back with my metal grey to work this edge around it. Now for this edging, we join just in the bottom of the neatening row. I've got my 242, the metal grey. And I'm going to be working into the back loop only. I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the top. Then work a slip stitch in the first stitch along the top and then work one chain and then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch along the top. Now we're going to work the roof in the back loops of the single crochet and the battlement in the front loop of those. So after your one single crochet in each stitch along the top, work one chain tightly and then work a slip stitch in each stitch down the side. and then slip stitch into the bottom of the neatening row and fasten off. And that's the top middle section done. Now for our roof, 
it's worked into the back loops of our wedging and it's worked over the 10 middle stitches. So join in the first of the 10, just make sure your 10 are even. And I like to leave quite a long tail at the beginning just to work my neatening row around the roof. I rather leave too much than too little. If I've got quite a lot left over I can always make a little flower out of it. So I've joined in the back loop only of the first of the ten stitches and left a long tail. We start with three chain and we're going to work a joined double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch working into the back loop only. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the back loop of the same stitch as the join and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops then yarn around the hook hook into the back loop of the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work one half double crochet into the back loop only of each of the next six stitches. and a joined double crochet in the back loop only of the following two stitches. For row two we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches so we put the yarn around the hook hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row four we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the 2 stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the roof unneatened. For the neatening row, we just bring up a loop of our colour and we work 
one slip stitch in each stitch around. I tend to work a chain just at the point. So one slip stitch in the point, a chain, and then one slip stitch in the point. So I'll slip stitch just in the point there, work one chain and slip stitch in that same stitch and then work one slip stitch in each stitch down the slope of the roof. and slip stitch in the last stitch of the roof and fasten off. And that's the roof done. I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with my black and we'll work the edging around the roof and the flagpole. Now for the edging and the flagpole we just join our black in the bottom of the roof there. and I'll be working in the back loop only. Work one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch up to the point. slip stitch into the point and then work seven chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the point again and work one slip stitch in each stitch down the roof. I'm working into the back loop only again. and then slip stitch into the bottom of the roof and fasten off. And that's the edging and the flag post done. Now I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the mercury and we'll work these two battlements, the bottom one and the top one. Now we're working this bottom battlement now. Now we join in the front loop only of our first black stitch. 
So I just in here. And we're working into these front black loops left in front of our top middle section. I find it easier if I bend my work over. You can get into the loops easier. We start with three chain. And we work one double crochet in the same stitch as our join in the front loop only. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And one double crochet in the front loop only of the next stitch. Then work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as our last double crochet. Then work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches in the front loop only. You can probably only work in the front loop now. Then slip stitch into the following stitch. We work two chain work one double crochet in the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch. Then work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as our last double crochet and then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches Then slip stitch into the next stitch, work two chain and work one double crochet into the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch then work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as our last double crochet. Work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then slip stitch into the last stitch. Work two chain and work two double crochet into the last stitch. Work two chain if you'd like to, you don't have to, you could fasten off before your two chain and slip stitch into that last stitch and fasten off. And that's the bottom battlement. It just goes up over the top part. Now for this top battlement it's worked over the middle 12 stitches in the front loops in front of the roof and we're going to be working over the 12 middle stitches. So find your 12 middle stitches And we're going to be joining in the back loop in in the back on the wrong side, so just in in here. This one has two rows. So we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches can be a bit hard to get in 
into them. Then work two single crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And two single crochet into the following stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And that's what it looks like so far. For row two, we start with three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last double crochet. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. Work two chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch. Work two chain and then slip stitch into the same stitch as our last double crochet and slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. Then work two chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch. Work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as our last double crochet and then work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches work two chain one double crochet in the last stitch as our the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch Work two chain and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the two battlements done. Now we're going to work this door. I've got my 254 the moon rock and we start with 8 chain For row 1 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the 7 remaining chain For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 7 stitches.
Now rows two, uh, sorry, three to six are work the same as row two. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the seven stitches. So I'll work those off camera. There are four rows of one chain and turn and one single crochet in each stitch. Now for row seven we have a curved edge for the top. We start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. And then we're going to work one treble into the next stitch. That's a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the following stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off Now we're going to work a neatening row. I'm going to join just in the bottom there in the back of the first chain. I'm going to join here so that I can work over the top of my tails. And we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same place as a join. And we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around to the bottom there. So just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook. Now for neatening rows you can find it easier if you work with a size or two finer hook. So we're just working one single crochet in each stitch around to the bottom. And then we fasten off. And that's the door done. We're going to work this large window now. I've got my 110, the black, and we start with four chain.
For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. There will be 3 stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in the first stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. And one single crochet in the last stitch. And then we fasten off. And that's the first part of the window. We've got a curved edge at the top. Now we're going to join our 254, the moon rock, just at the bottom of the window there, in the bottom chain. We work one chain and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch up around our window to the bottom. If you need to work two, two single crochet in a stitch that's fine just to give it a nice edge. Just work to the bottom of the window and then work one chain and work into the last single crochet. We need it to look like it's got a window sill at the bottom and then work one single crochet in each stitch along the bottom including in the bottom of our first single crochet of the neatening row. and fasten off. And that's the window done. Now we're going to work this flag now at the top of the flagpole. Now I've got my 115, the hot red, and I'm going to leave quite a long tail to use for the neatening row. We've only got a 
fairly small neatening row. Now we join our cotton in the fourth stitch down from the top of the flagpole. So this stitch here and I'll leave my long tail at that side where it is. We start with two chain, we work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet in each of our 4 stitches. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And then work four chain. For row 4 we slip stitch in the second chain from the hook work one single crochet in the next chain and one half double crochet into the last chain and then we slip stitch in the last half double crochet and fasten off. And for our neatening row we bring up a loop of our cotton and we're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around to make the end of the flag pointier you could work either one slip stitch and one chain one slip stitch or you could work two, two chain and slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then keep going. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the end of my flag. It can be a bit hard to get into there. I'll work two chain, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then work one slip stitch in each stitch until I get to the flagpole. and then slip stitch into the flagpole near the end of the flag and fasten off.
and that's the flag done. We'll work these towers next. The towers are worked exactly the same, so I'll only work one on camera and I'll work the other one off camera. Now we'll start on this tower piece. I've got my 074, the Mercury, and we start with six chain. For row one, we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then one double crochet into the next chain. That's a treble using UK terms. And then one treble in the following chain. That's a double treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning. One double crochet into the next chain and then one single crochet into the last chain. We need quite a curved edge for the bottom of the tower so we've worked the double crochet and the treble. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. Now rows 3 to 14 are work the same as row 2. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our five stitches. So I'll work those 12 rows off camera. Now that's to the end of row 14. Now we're going to do the curved top. It's not as curved as the bottom. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the following stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, and one single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the tower unneatened. For the neatening row, we start with one chain and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch on the straight edges. And we'll work two single crochet into the corner stitches. So just into these stitches at the corner. So I'll work the neatening row off camera and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with my metal grey and we'll work an edging. Now for the edge I've got my 242 the metal grey and we join in any stitch. I'm going to be working into the back loop only again so I'll join in the back loop. And we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join. And then we'll be working one single crochet in each stitch on the edges. And just this round the corner bit, I'll work two single crochet in a stitch. And then I'll work one single crochet into each stitch up around this bend. Now 
and then two single crochet into the corner. And just work like that, one single crochet into each stitch, except the one on each side of the bend where we'll work to. So I'll work the rest of the edge off camera. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work the roof. We're going to do the roof now. So I've got my 115, the hot red. Now the roof is worked over the eight middle stitches on the end that doesn't bend as much. This is our bottom end, it's got a real sharp bend. So we're working on this one. We're working in the back loop only and I'm leaving a long tail for the neatening row again. So with my long tail I join in the back loop only of the first of the eight stitches. I leave my tail on this side and I start with three chain. We work a join double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. One half double crochet in each of the next four stitches in the back loop only we'll be working the battlement in the front loop and a join double crochet over the next two stitches For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 half double crochet in each of the next 2 stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the two stitches and fasten off. For the neatening row we bring up a loop of the tail and we work one slip stitch in each stitch around or you can work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch into the point of the roof.
Once we get to the bottom we fasten off. And that's the roof done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the black and we'll do the edge and the flagpole. Now for the edge and flagpole we join our 110, the black, just at the bottom of the roof. We work one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch to the point. I've worked into the point, we work six chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain A slip stitch into the point and then one slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch down the slope. and then slip stitch into the bottom of the roof and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in these ends and I'll be back with my 07 for the Mercury and we'll work this battlement. Now for the battlement I've got my 07 for the Mercury and it's worked over two rows so we're going to join on the wrong side. It's worked over the eight middle stitches in the front loops left in front of the roof so these stitches here. So we need to find eight stitches. So I'll join in this stitch here And it's easier if you bend your work back so you can get into the stitches easier. So we start with one chain. We work two single crochet in the same stitch as our join. Then one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then two single crochet into the following stitch. For row two we start with three chain 
and we turn, we work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. That's a treble using UK terms. Work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as our last double crochet. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. Work two chain, work one double crochet in the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch. Work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as our last double crochet and then one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches work two chain one double crochet in the same stitch as our last slip stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch and you could fasten off if you'd like but or work two chain and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off and that's the battlement done now for the small windows I've got my 110 the black and we start with four chain we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook one double crochet in the next chain that's a treble using UK terms and one single crochet into the last chain For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches. And we fasten off or we can just slip the moon rock, the 254, the moon rock, into that stitch before we fasten off. For the neatening row, we start with one chain and we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up around the top until we get to the last stitch before the, the bottom part there. So just work a slip stitch in each stitch up around the top. We need these windows to stay quite small. Now I'm at the bottom, I work one chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last stitch and then work one slip stitch in each stitch across the bottom. And then slip stitch into that the first stitch and fasten off
and that's the small window to go on the tower. Now for the flags for the towers, I'm going to leave a bit of a tail again to use for the neatening row and we join in the third stitch down our flagpole. And just leave the tail on that side. We start with two chain. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our join and one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over our 3 stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook and hook into our last stitch and bring up a loop. There's lots of loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work four chain. We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, one single crochet into the next chain and one half double crochet into our last chain. and we slip stitch in the top of the joined half double crochet. And fasten off. For the neatening row, we just bring up a loop of our cotton and work one slip stitch in each stitch to the point. I slip stitch into the point and then I like to work two chain and slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then work one slip stitch in each stitch down to the flagpole. Slip stitch into the flagpole near the end of the flag and fasten off. And that's the tower done. Now that's the tower and the window. So I'll work another tower and window off camera the same. Next we'll work these side pieces. We've got two of them. The only difference is one is turned before the neatening row. Now I've got my 07 for the Mercury and we start with six chain. For 
For row 1, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain. And then one half double crochet into each of the last two chain. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 5 stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 5 stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet in each of the first two stitches. And one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. And that's the side section unneatened. This side is just a bit longer than this side. This side will go up against the towers. For the neatening row we will turn one before the neatening row but not turn the other. So we start with one chain and I'm not going to turn this one and I'm going to work a single crochet in the first stitch on the top and then one single crochet in each stitch down the side. And then two single crochet in the first stitch along the top. And we just continue like that. Two single crochet in each corner stitch and one single crochet in each stitch along the sides. So I'll finish the rest of this neatening row off camera and then I'll be back. I'll work another one up until the neatening row and then I'll start the neatening row for the other one on camera. Now there's my one side section neatened and I've got my other side section done unneatened. Now I start with one chain. Now I'm going to turn mine but if you'd prefer you could just work it the same as the other and turn it upside down but I just like to turn mine before the neatening row so I turn it and work one single crochet in each stitch along the top to the last stitch. I work 
two single crochet into the last stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch along the straight edges and two single crochet in each corner stitch. So I'll finish the rest of this one off camera. Now for the edging I'm going to work it in the back loop only so we can join in any stitch. I've got my 242 the metal grey and we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one single crochet in each stitch on the edges and two single crochet in each corner stitch all the way around So I'll work the rest of the edges off camera. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with my black and we'll work this next section. Now there's the two side sections. Now this black row is worked over seven stitches at the top. You can work it over both stitches. So Join at the side and just make sure you've got seven stitches evenly along the top. We work one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. and fasten off. And for the other one I make sure I've got it the same way as the other. So I've got the two shorter sections against each other and we join at the side and I've got seven stitches evenly along there. So I start with one chain, work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. and fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we've just got to work this battlement at the top. Now the battlements are work the same so I'll just work one on camera. We join in the first black stitch I've got my 07 for the Mercury. We start with three chain. We work one double crochet in the same stitch as our join. Work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the join. Then work one single crochet in the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch.
work two chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as the last slip stitch, work two chain and slip stitch in that same stitch again, work one single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the following stitch, work two chain, one double crochet in the same stitch as the slip stitch and then two chain and slip stitch into the, that same stitch again. Work one single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch. Work two chain, one double crochet into the last stitch, two chain and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off. And I'll just work the other battlement of camera. I'll weave in the ends and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's the pieces. I've got the two towers plus the windows to go on the towers. The middle section with the door and the window and the two side sections. The first things I'll do is attach the windows just in the centres there and I'll embroider markings on the door. I stitch markings down through the stitches so just up and down the stitches and then I do one around the edge, just near the edge of the single crochet. Now there's the markings on the door. The next thing I do is work some chain to go across the door. So I've got my 254, the moon rock. I leave a bit of a tail at each end to stitch it down and I work chain to go across I'll start with about 12 and see how that is. That's fine. So I'll end that one off. So I'll stitch that just across the door there and then I'll stitch the door at the bottom of the middle section. Next we attach the towers to the middle section. They go just in about there. The bottom of the middle section goes to about the top of row one. I stitch them up the side like that and probably up to the end of that battlement. So on each side and I try to get them as even as possible. I'm not so great at getting them even. The last thing we do is attach the side sections. The longer end goes against the tower and the bottom is about even with the middle section. So in about there, I'll stitch those on and I'll be back to show you the finished castle. There's the finished castle. The size is 20 centimetres wide by 17 centimetres or 8 inches wide by 6 and 3 quarter inches. 
If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.